Good morning and welcome, everyone, to the closing sessions of the American Farm Bureau's annual convention. I'm Chuck Fry, an ice cream farmer and president of the Maryland Farm Bureau. I've, I've served on the, Mar on the American Farm Bureau Board of Directors for two years and was just recently appointed to the Executive Committee. The YFNR Women's Leadership Promotion and Education Committee successfully advocate, educate, and lead on behalf of Farm Bureau. Their efforts are a big part of what keeps our organization so strong and helps us unify in our mission to support a thriving agricultural industry. I know we all appreciate the hard work of these dedicated volunteers. Let's take a look at some of the successful work they've been part of over the past year. I want consumers to be confident in the food that I grow. Hello everyone, I'm Cole Coxville from southeastern Wyoming, where I grow, uh, raise cattle, grow row crops with my father. I also run a commercial trucking business and spraying business. I am your Young Farmer Rancher National Chair. It's been an amazing year to be able to serve in this, uh, on this committee and also on the American Farm Bureau Board. And in then serving in this position on the board, I had the opportunity to travel around the country and talk about the importance of this program and the participation of young farmers and ranchers in Farm Bureau. I'd th like to thank my wife, Sammy, and my kids, Emmett, Connor, and Carly, and my parents for all their support they have given me through my travels throughout this last year. I also want to thank my, the members of the Young Farmer and Rancher Committee for their support, enthusiasm, and their friendship that has made this year a great success. I also want to thank all of you here for all what you do with Farm Bureau and your involvement. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the AFBF YFNR Committee Chair, Ms. Kalina Bruce. Thank you all. As Cole said, I'm Kalina Bruce. As so many of you know, it takes serious stamina to get started in agriculture often while starting a family and still making time for Farm Bureau. That's why we have these awards, to show appreciation for the young people out there who recognize the importance of giving their time and effort to our organization. 
the Young Farmers and Ranchers program is an opportunity to be a part of protecting and promoting the way of life that we all love. It also helps us surface and develop the next generation of advocates for agriculture. We are very fortunate to have the support of incredible sponsors who also believe in the importance of agriculture to feed, clothe, and fuel the world. Still has been a YFNR sponsor for more than 13 years. Representing the company here today is Roger Phelps. Well, good morning, Farm Bureau. You know, it was in 1926 that Andreas Steele invented the first electric chainsaw. And he did it because he had seen the working conditions of the loggers of, the, of his time. They were using hand saws and axes. And he said there had to be a better way, and he wanted to make a difference. 90 years later, we're still family owned. There still is a Mr. Steele, and that very core purpose is still at the heart of everything that we do. We still want to find a better way, and we still want to make a difference. And that's one of the reasons why this sponsorship is such a good fit for us, because we love the YFNR. We love their dedication to the traditions, family, but also the way they embrace technical innovation to further the purpose of Farm Bureau. On a personal note, I've been working for the company for 15 years. For 13 of those, it's been my privilege to be here. And I have to say, walking into this audience and seeing friends and the YFNR committee is really just such a pleasure and such an honor. So on behalf of the 2,100 employees at Steel Incorporated in Virginia Beach, proudly building in America because we believe in America, congratulations. Thank you, Farm Bureau, for all you do. And we look forward to the future of furthering America's fuel, fiber, and food. Thank you, Roger. KSIH has been a wife and our sponsor now for more than 23 years. This year, they'll be giving away nine tractors worth more than $200,000. From field to feedlot and everywhere in between, Case IH has helped to power American agriculture. Today, Case IH is focused on understanding the opportunities and challenges facing farmers and ranchers. We know that each day may bring new challenges, new regulations, increased demands from both domestic and export markets. You're dedicated to feeding a growing population even as land and resources become more limited. Case IH is here to work with you all day, every day. Here to represent Case IH is Dave Henderson. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, I was born and raised and, and live in uh, America's Dairyland, uh, the great state of Wisconsin. Land of the cheese heads. Um, being part of Farm Bureau, uh, being a sponsor for Farm Bureau and being part of Farm Bureau's membership benefits program is important to Case IH. We share many of the values and, and uh, 
desire to make the farmers as much as much prof, as much profitability as they can. Uh, this year, Case Edge will be celebrating our 175th anniversary. So whether your great 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 grandpa bought a, a threshing machine from us back in 1842, or some of you in the audience have purchased our equipment through those 175 years, I'd like to thank you very much for your business. While the equipment and the technology has changed dramatically over the 175 years, the values of the American farmer remain constant through the generations. Faith, love of family, freedom, community, uh, and farming as a way of life are still the core values of the American farmer today. Uh, evidence of this was on display as I had the opportunity to watch several of the young farmers and ranchers uh, excellence in ag competition uh, present. I'd like to take a moment and congratulate all the farmers who made it to Phoenix and represented their states in the various competitions this year. To show our appreciation for their leadership, their time and energy representing um, farmers, the interest of farmers as well as uh, rural America, I'd like to take this time to give them all a round of applause. Uh, to, to the finalists, I want to congratulate you all on advancing. Uh, and I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope all you have a very profitable year. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. And last but certainly not least, thanks to Chevrolet for awarding each of our winners a brand new truck. We're so glad they found the road to being one of our wonderful sponsors. Joining us is Pete Langenhorst. Good morning, American Farm Bureau. And on behalf of the 3,200 Chevrolet dealers across this great country and all of our central office employees, as well as our field employees, congratulations and thank you. We treasure this sponsorship. We really do. It's been going on a long time, and we feel that with our our lineup of vehicles, cars, trucks, crossovers, we fulfill a need that you need every day. And so because of that, our partnership has been one that has really been beneficial to both sides. So again, thank you for allowing us to be part of your business, allowing us to be that sponsor, and go Chevy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our sponsors. Our first award this morning, the Excellence in Ag Award, recognizes young agricultural professionals for their achievements in leadership and their understanding of ag issues. These competitors do not earn the majority of their income from production agriculture. 28 of the nation's best competed for this award, and on stage are the top 10 competitors. Each of the three finalists will win cash and steel merchandise worth $3,000, and a Case IH Farmall 50A tractor worth more than $25,000. Those finalists are Wayne and Melanie Brinkeroff of Utah, <laughs> Teresha and Brian McKeegan of Arizona.
and Seth and Lindsay Earl of Michigan. The winner of the Excellence in Ag Award will take home the all-new 2017 Chevy Silverado or a Chevy of his or her choice worth up to $35,000. And the winner is Sarah Cyphers of Virginia. What does this award mean to you? Honestly, never thought I'd be standing here to even have to say this, but it's amazing to be representing all the young farmers and ranchers in the United States because I'm not the only one that puts in the hard time work and advocates for agriculture. We all do, and it's a huge honor to be up here representing everyone. Congratulations on earning the Excellence in Ag Award. The discussion meet is an opportunity for young leaders to sit down to discuss issues, build consensus, and work together to find solutions. The goal is to help them build the skills, knowledge, and confidence to tell their stories in all forms and work with others to get things done. It takes preparation, practice, and knowledge of current issues to compete successfully in the discussion meet. 38 competitors participated this year. The final four are Amanda Solman of Michigan. Matt Niswander of Tennessee. Sky Guess of Georgia. and Jessica Jones of Virginia. Each of the three runners up will win cash and steal merchandise worth $3,000 and a Case IH Farmall 50A tractor worth more than $25,000. And the winner will take home the all new 2017 Chevy Silverado or a Chevy of his or her choice worth up to $35,000. So the discussion meet champion is Matt Nicewander of Tennessee. What does it mean to you to earn this award? Uh, it's crazy to think that I'm here today. I, I want to thank, uh, first of all, uh, God and my Savior for bringing me here today, my family, my wife, my kids. I want to thank the Farm Bureau for giving us opportunities as young farmers and ranchers to making us strong agriculture advocates. And um, I want to say God bless the farmer, God bless Farm Bureau, and God bless America. Congratulations on winning the discussion meet. The Achievement Award recognizes young farmers and ranchers who have excelled on their operations and developed as leaders in their communities and in Farm Bureau. A panel of judges chose our top 10 Achievement Award competitors out of 29 applicants. They have all shown themselves to be excellent farmers or ranchers and outstanding advocates for their communities. The competitors you see here are the rising leaders of our organization, and choosing just one to win the award is a difficult task. That's why three Achievement Award finalists will take home cash and steal merchandise worth $3,000 and a Case IH Farmall 50A tractor worth more than $25,000.
The finalists for the Achievement Award are Stewart and Casey McGill of Alabama. Chris and Patricia Haskins of Virginia. And Jay and Alice Ann Jurgen of Tennessee. The winner of the Achievement Award will soon be driving the all new 2017 Chevy Silverado or a Chevy of his or her choice worth up to $35,000. So, who gets the keys to a new truck? Grant and Kristen Strom of Illinois. Okay, so you know what's coming. What does it mean to you to earn this award? I guess I'll start with Yabba Dabba Doo. Uh, it's an inside joke from rehearsal if you were there yesterday. Um, what's this mean to us? This is, we set this goal 10 years ago um, to try to make it to this stage, uh, never thinking we would, we would win, just humbled to be up here. We've been working on this for three years and uh, put a lot of effort into it. I'd like to thank American Farm Bureau and the Young Farmer and Ranch Committee for even making this possible and, and promoting uh, individual efforts and success in business and farming. A special thanks to Illinois Farm Bureau, um, all the staff there that supported us and got us to this point, and especially the Knox County Farm Bureau, our home county, for all the support and love they've given us and supporting our business and our family and, and making this possible. And uh, just, just thanks to everyone and, and God bless. Let's give a hand to the great sponsors and all of the participants in this year's competitive events. <laughs> 